Hello everybody! Happy Chinese New Year! Happy Golden New Year! 恭喜發財! 新年快樂! As you can see, our <laughs> set looks a little bit different today. Yeah. Yeah, so we are all ready for Chinese New Year, I suppose. Yay! Are you happy for um, uh, getting Ang Pao? Uh, I think as I go older, not really. It becomes like, uh, it's very, mm, I don't quite like it. I'm getting Ang Pao now. Yeah, nowadays I try to hide yeah, at home. I know, right? So it's like, it's not very, I, I don't know, I feel very like, mm, like my cousins give me ang pao because they are married so they can give ang pao to people who are not married and younger than you mm. then I'm like uh, do I want to take it then my, my the other cousin I have another cousin who's a lot who's older right so he's not married as well if they give I'll take that why don't need to be shy if they want to give then you just take it so okay I'll just take it but I really 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 dislike reunion dinners or parties like with uh, with ex extended family, I suppose. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I also don't like that. The only reason that I will force myself to go is because I can meet my grandmother. That's it. <laughs> such, such a good girl. <laughs> but I might try to avoid this year because it's, uh, it's, it's really a very uncomfortable situation for it's me. It's awkward la, I yeah. would say. It's very awkward. It's like, uh, I don't see you guys like often. You don't know what is happening yeah. in my life. And in, when, if you're concerned, it's more like you're capable about it. Yeah. So, yeah. so anyway, <laughs> let's talk about something positive about you. Sing Nian Sing <laughs> Yay. So hopefully by Chinese New Year we have gathered more people who is listening more or viewers. watching us already. Like I mean you I hope you guys like what we have chatted about, the topics that we have shared, our opinions and things like that. Mm. So Chinese New Year, what exactly is Chinese New Year? What is it different with Amor or, or the typical New Year like first of January? Chinese New Year follows the Chinese lunar calendar. So, uh, it's a celebration of a new year. So, um, in our saying, my family, our tradition is uh, winter solstice is bigger than the year because it's the time we celebrate harvest. So, it's the end of a harvest year. We celebrate uh, the harvest that we had in that year. And then, in the olden days, like farmers, etc., we go rest, go into rest, right? Mm. Then uh, comes Chinese Lunar New Year. Is the the year, the time where we prepare for a new year. So that is the difference. In the so past, my mom always tell me like winter solstice is bigger than the year. So <sighs> so so your more so your family is more concerned, like cares about more about winter solstice instead. Yeah. At least the two of us is uh, mm. <laughs> my mom and I. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do for winter sources? We had a uh, tang yuan, the rice ball dumpling, and then we have like a family dinner because my family is so small, right? Mm. So, but at least we try to stay together. Mm. Then Chinese New Year is more or less the same. Yeah, just that Chinese New Year we, we have Ang Pao. Lies, yes. Okay, do you have like a favorite flavor of Tang Yuan or you like those without feeling one? Got feeling is good now. Your gan ching, so. Your gan ching. Okay, so there's a typically the feeling is red bean, mm. sesame, mm. and peanuts. Mm. That's the typical ones. Any favorites? It's <gasps> I had uh in China, I had they have flavors like uh yam etc. Oh, okay. Then they have one that I thought is really nice. It's floral flavor. So wow, me, no, me and yeah me oh. and floral flavor right. <laughs> you know? But what type of flower? There's a uh, I remember there's one pack. There's a few. Different floral flavors so like every, rose, every 
four four is a different flavor. Like. I think they have like four flavor okay. in one pack. Okay. Then the the most tasty one of the pack that I found is actually chrysanthemum. Oh really? Oh, yeah. I was I was thinking whether it got jihua flavor or not. It's really light and fragrant okay. and you know it matches la the, okay. the Chinese. Yeah, I like I like chrysanthemum mm. tea. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. I have never seen that in Singapore before. Not yet, like maybe you should bring it in. Oh, yeah, can I? <laughs> you should maybe consider bringing it in and then selling it. Uh, set up a store that might tong yun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't mind having a, like a dessert store. I think it's, it's a very happy With, with ginger soup, right? Uh, like, do you like ginger but in, soup? In China, it's, uh, they use, what was that? Lao Zhao. Uh, the rice, rice wine. Yeah. Okay. I think I I cooked once before in in Milan for you and Becca. Okay. Mm. The, the yeah. typical one that we have here is really with the ginger soup. With the ginger yeah. soup. It's I think more South East Asian, Asian flavor. Yeah. Mm. So okay. in China they use the Lao Zhao. But it's really uh, Jiu Niang, Jiu Niang. Jiu Niang. So it's quite yeah. it's quite interesting then to have like floral flavor. It's like different types of yeah. very different from the traditional tong yun. Yeah, floral. So I think uh, hong zhao. Oh, that's, also, that, yeah. that, that's nice. Because well. the the place I went to was Xi'an, mm. and that area and like Xinjiang or that that area, the region okay. is uh very popular for their red dates. Okay, it's very nice. So I, rem- I remember other than that, they have a lot of red dates flavor things like yogurt. It's actually very nice. Yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, it's very, uh, Dubai is also very famous for their dates. The, the uh, different types yeah, of dates. Different types of dates. Different so, types of dates. Yeah. Mm. yeah, so that's the interesting part about uh, the New Year food. The difference. Uh, and they, for Chinese New Year, they eat uh, jiaozi, mm. dumplings. For us, it's usually uh, hot pot. Hot pot. Mm. And we have low hay. Low hay yeah, that's mm. yeah. So, it, I, I mean, in China, right, they eat jiaozi and then they'll put, when they bow jiaozi, they will put a coin inside, right? Did you got one with a coin inside? It's supposed to mean good luck, right? If you eat the jiaozi with a coin inside. I think, I didn't get that, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I think they did because I stay in a volunteer hostel. Mm. So <laughs> yeah. the the volunteer house mom, mm. she made lots of jiaozi. Yeah. And I remember they said that some of them have the coin inside la, but I they did. should be generous and put everybody put <laughs> everyone with a coin and everybody can have, have uh, good luck for the next year. But she made very good jiaozi. Okay. Was uh, I remember there's lamb and beef flavor jiaozi. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. That's normally we eat is all pork, pork or chicken. Chicken, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Then again, because northern Chinese, mm. right? Yeah, they eat uh beef and lamb, especially uh during the winter season. Lamb is supposed to keep you warm. warm. Yeah. So they have a lot of uh. Xi'an area, they have the yang rou pao mo. All this is their famous dishes with lamb, mm. yang rou chuan, that kind of thing. Mm. That was when and uh, when you spent Chinese year in China in uh, Xi'an. I forgot which year, few years back. Yeah, but surprisingly, Chinese New Year in China wasn't as uh, wasn't as real now. Mm. As I thought it would be, it's very quiet. Mm, so, the hostel mom actually told me that because in China, people go back home for reunion dinner. So on the streets, you actually don't have like celebrations like in mm, more Western countries. According to them, Singapore is Westernized countries. <laughs> So they, yeah, they don't have like a uh, countdown etc. So um, on the street is very quiet. But that means that Xi'an is considered a big city or a smaller city? It's an old city. It's an old city. Yeah. So people who work there all go back 
home. Mm, like there are people working out of Xi'an coming back to Xi'an as well. <coughs> but it's very quiet la. they don't have like... They won't be out on the street celebrating. No firecrackers, no, nothing. No. Really? Okay. There are firecrackers but it's just that <coughs> on the street is dead quiet. Everyone is just back at home. Talking about firecrackers, you remember the time when we were in Chinke Tori for, mm. for the Western New Year and then they were just going about anyhow and throwing firecrackers and scaring everybody. Remember? Like, we were just oh, walking and yeah. then suddenly these kids just throw a firecracker at like, I don't right know in why front they of did you. That, and they just on purpose. Like, I think they were just, they think it's hilarious scaring people, I guess. And Kitty got scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was like, oh, but it's very scary because, I mean, it's insane. It's like out of the blue, suddenly something went <laughs> off. Yeah, I mean, like, like, uh, like, a, like a bomb that goes off or something. It's quite scary, yeah. So, mm. yeah. So, I guess in Singapore, I mean, in Milan, they, in Chinese, although there are a lot of Chinese in Milan as well, it's also very quiet in Milan, I guess, for Chinese New Year. Yeah, because the Chinese population wasn't that huge in Milan. Uh, Mostly northern Chinese. I heard mostly from Wenzhou. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, but I heard from my China Chinese friends that mostly are Wenzhou population. So northern Chinese again. Then the celebration, the type of celebration that they have, is quite different from southern China, uh, Chinese. Like in London, you will have like parade, mm. dragon, dragon. Wuxi, yeah, the oolong yeah. wuxi. Uh, in the but of course that in, in, the, in, in London the Chinese population is huge mm. so they have stuff like that so it's, it's very interesting to see the difference in every different city mm. yeah. so when we were growing up Chinese New Year to us is I think it's typically got Chinese New Year goodies yeah, uh, new clothes, new clothes, new, new shoes. Shoe, new Nowadays, bag. I don't really buy anymore. Oh, yeah, actually. I don't buy new clothes anymore because I've always been buying new clothes. So that does it. If people that my my relative never see, consider new. So it's okay. <laughs> uh, I guess the other one will be like must cut hair. Yeah, wh- why must we go through all the hassle just I to meet people what? you meet once a year? No, 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 but the thing is, I think sing, yang sing, si wang, so yeah. everything must sing la. Oh, so, okay. must cut hair, must uh, dye hair, mm. then uh, must, uh, I remember cut hair, dye, uh, dye hair, new clothes, new shoes, new bed, everything must sing, sing. How else more? Uh, new bed sheets. Oh yeah, yeah. everything new. Like. Everything new. Uh, Important must have new inner wear as well. <laughs> then still got uh, like Chinese PJ? PJs, but I don't. I saw that I mean, I don't really do PJs, new PJs anyway. Oh, PJ is important for me because I'm used to having PJ and home wear. Like mm-hmm. I separate the two mm-hmm. different types. Okay. So. Yeah, since young, my mom will always prepare PJ for me. So before we go to bed. Uh, during the eve of Chinese New Year, we will put on our new PJ. Mm. Okay. So uh, apart from that, then, okay, like Chinese New Year goodies, I think when we were young, we loved the... Uh, I still love love letters. Pineapple oh. tarts. <laughs> uh, bakwa, bakwa. Although uh, now bakwa can, is cheaper to eat outside of Chinese <laughs> <laughs> And it's, you can do three times yeah. during that period. You must kill someone, okay? Yeah. No, so uh, typically we don't buy bakwa during Chinese New Year. Mm. And, and, yeah. And, or I go other people's house eat. Because they don't buy. <laughs> I don't, I, after Chinese New Year, then I will, I will buy. Uh. Then, uh, what else do we eat? Gua zi. Uh, gua zi. Melon seeds. Melon seeds. My mother loves those. Yeah. Oh, those the, black ones, ah, is it? Yeah. Ah. I don't I'm not sure like. if, if our video can hear the birdie that decided to join our conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I, yeah, it's walking outside the window and trying yeah. to join us. Trying to join in our <coughs> discussion on Chinese media. <laughs> then, uh, I, I like the, there's this like honeycomb thing like. Oh, okay. Uh, I like yeah. that one. I really like that one. 
Yeah, I like that one too. Still got what? Nowadays we don't see that as much, right? Yeah, don't see as much. Yeah, I every time forgot about it. Then I know what I usually buy the, the fried crab stick. <laughs> oh. Very addictive. <laughs> These are things that Chinese New Year we eat. Still got what else do you do? Do you have a, like a particular Chinese New Year goodie that you like? Egg roll. Egg roll. Yeah. Not that, uh, not, not. I love. Good. I love Love letters as well, mm. but I like the traditional like a, the hot the one Hong Kong uh. egg roll. Oh, okay, the bigger yeah. type. Uh, what else? I um, it when we were young, we don't have so much varieties. Mm. So Chinese New Year, we went to those uh, New Year markets, right? They will have like lotus seeds. Uh, Lotus root, all mm. those that they already uh, preserved in sugar. So those are oh. yeah. But now I mean nowadays I youngsters they don't them. they don't eat those anymore. But in the past it's like oh du during Chinese New Year you get to eat mm, those. Okay, mm. okay. Like yeah. some tea like that. Yeah, but it's it's preserved in sugar. Okay, so never, it's crunchy. I never eat mm. before. Eh. It's very nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this year, this Chinese year we should go. I anywhere. sound like sixty year old. <laughs> she, she's not. She's I'm not sixty years she's old. Not. She just got <laughs> old soul. I have an old soul. <laughs> if if people can see the the look of my soul, it's probably like a sixty or eighty years old auntie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then, apart from then, I I guess. Chinese New Year means people getting together. We we have reunion dinner to we, at the Chinese New Year Eve. Mm. My reunion dinner is very simple. It's just me, my brother, my fat, my parents, and then we eat hot pot or uh, we have like yeah. a barbecue thingy or something like that. I think in Singapore it's very typical to have hot pot for. Yeah, it's e I think it's, it's not easy, easy, but at least you don't have to cook a few. Oh, but my mother usually because afternoon they they do prayers, right? So mm. every time they will at least have fish on the table. Mm. Must have nian nian you yu. Then got the the chong or the whatever. Oh, some the the one they say to the chong. Ah, yeah. Some the the suan. Oh, suan suan. So must have suan. Ah, must have suan. Then, yeah, yeah. When I'm yeah. very, very young, at my. <laughs> See, I do like 50 years ago. Eh? Like 50 years ago. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or 60 years ago. No, um, when we are celebrating Chinese New Year in my father's family mm. side, so uh, my grandfather will. Um, my auntie will cook. La. So. Um, we celebrate with my grandfather, my father's side's uh, family. So they will typically have a hot pot. Mm. The uh, hot pot, I forgot, I think there's some sort of yam and pork in it. He loves fatty pork, like pork belly. Then they will also cook a lot of dishes, like what you say, like swan, uh, the, the hair, fats. Fa cai, fa cai. I don't know what's that called. Some kind of fungus, right? Mm. Yeah, all these traditional Chinese dish they will have, la. Okay. Mm. So yeah, then that's that's the reunion dinner. Then after that, I know we was we are supposed to stay up past midnight to so sui. Yeah, for it's for your parents' mm. health, la. Mm. That means the later you stay awake, the healthier your parents will be. Well, given that my mom has passed on, I think that's <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work for me. No, but okay, like singing, like got the heart yeah. to do it. Then I think it's important, <laughs> I guess. So that is that I know that every time after Chinese after the reunion dinner, right? Then I will start mopping and cleaning the house because too yi cannot sell tea. Oh. Uh, for us is on the twenty eighth of December. Lin Ya Bat Okay. <laughs> okay. Means uh, on the twenty eighth of the day you have to finish cleaning your place to prepare for the Chinese New Year. So the twenty eighth of December is uh Chinese Chinese calendar. Chinese. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So so we will clean the house and everything. I mean it's just salty yeah, because I mean spring cleaning is done before Chinese year. By right, you should clean 
we should spring clean before Chinese year and yeah. get rid of all the old things. Lah. So, uh, that because Chu Yi, when, when Chu Yi happens, right, it's, I can't remember to why we cannot sell Is it because Don't you sweep, sweep the, away the good your wealth luck? away? Yeah. <laughs> but you sweep inside? Eh? No, cannot. You cannot. So huh? try to hold yourself. <laughs> But if I use Dyson, no, I yeah, can't use Dyson. Yeah, not when you use vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Does that work? I don't know. Okay. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know, but okay, so typically the first day we don't, uh, we cannot uh, sweep the floor because we'll sweep away the good luck mm. of the well. Cannot scold people, cannot break cannot, things. Cannot kill. Cannot so, kill. So typically on the first, we don't cook. Um, eat vegetarian. Uh. Uh, some people they will eat vegetarian because uh-huh. first of the oh, first, first day of, of the month. Yeah. But uh, some they say don't moi hoi for uh, cannot open fire, so you don't typically cook then on that you, day. Leftovers from your Chinese. <laughs> but you still need to eat? cook what? Eat you up, eat up, mom. You eat it. Yeah. Fire but, open day. So, because in the past, if let's say you want to cook a fish, you have to kill ah, it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, you don't okay. kill okay. and you don't hoi for on that day. Okay. Uh, Is that yeah. why last time, because when we were younger, right, so eat meal don't see There's nothing to eat. I mean, I mean, it's like all leftovers, all <laughs> leftovers, and then the coffee shops all no don't yeah, open. They don't. But I mean, now people need the rest. Yeah, also, yeah, like, but nowadays they they, they op- still open. No? More and more places yeah. are opening yeah. during Chinese New Year. Mm-hmm. So. I think the the presence of Chinese New Year tradition in Singapore is getting lesser la. mm. I think it got very commercialized like, yeah. like Christmas and stuff like that So maybe people feel that Chinese New Year is just another day for you to spend money, that's it <laughs> well, It's always good to boost the economy and yeah. So that's, that's the, then we go, I think the other things that we've done, we do is go visiting relatives la. Mm. When I'm young, I will go <laughs> for the <laughs> But you know, when you grow up and you start to make your own living, then you, oh, you I start to dread going to. I don't like to go, it's because I really don't know what to talk to them about. And yeah, then, we don't see them so often, right? I mean, and then they, I feel some might be very Those judgment. Aunties. Yeah. Oh. Why mean, are you still single? Why, why you no boyfriend? Why no boyfriend? Yeah. How much you earn? Oh what job God. do you do? Big, big, okay, so big, big, okay, like, nowadays my cousin has kids, right? So mm. all the conversation is towards... The then they will start to ask, hey, when is it your turn? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to be a single mother, sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so they will ask, like, do you have a boyfriend first? Boyfriend. Then, if you have a boyfriend, <laughs> when are you getting married? If you are married, when are you having children? They're suddenly very concerned about my life, you so, know? Yeah, once a time, once a year. <laughs> once a year. Like, remember we talk about this like uh, my because my brother now is not in Singapore so my my all my uncle is very concerned about his job keep asking how is he doing in outside the outside Singapore then my brother was like when I'm in Singapore you didn't care why now you care so much about my life outside of Singapore mm. I mean I think it's the same with you when you were living outside of Singapore yeah. right? so I I keep us seems more interested. More concerned about you yeah. when you are not wrong. <laughs> like, like, I'm here that they don't never show, show yeah. any concern. So like, why once a year you decide to show me some concern? Yeah. Like, where were you when I needed the concern? Exactly. Oh well. So, positive. positive. <laughs> positive. Let's keep this positive. <laughs> so I think, I think Chinese year really is more fun for the kids. Because yeah. I remember when I was young, I mean we go by here, right? Then we will meet our cousins, mm-hmm. then we will play and then we will uh, go, I mean, we will get ampa. I mean, it's like additional pocket money for us when we were younger. Mm. Right now, it's also like, also additional pocket money, la. not bad, la. not bad. Still have some money. La. So then, I think then, I remember there was once my father brought all of the cousins and us, and we go to this uh, indoor playground in Marina Square to play for Chinese New Year. So I still have pictures at home. <laughs> so I think it's, I think I think it's really fun when you have you when we were a lot younger. Mm. I think it's all like yeah. mm. I have my New Year in Kampong, so we have 
firecracker all these. Yeah. So these are not you cannot do it in Singapore anymore. No, yeah, no more no more firecracker of any sorts in Singapore. <laughs> Uh, no, you can play with the the yes, one. Yourself, the, the yeah, white color one. The one where you uh, throw, throw the sound. Oh, that one. The poppers, right? Uh, poppers. Yeah. Then the, the the light one, like like a, like incense. Then you like got the sparkling. Or oh, the sparkling. That's not really sparkler. Yeah, yeah. that's not really. I bad. remember when the only Chinese New Year we were here. Like. You remember we bought quite some uh uh quite an amount of fireworks in Milan, but we didn't get to use it then. Oh well. Mm. Next time. Next time. Next, next time. time. Next yeah. time. Next time. Typically, Chinese New Year is a, a a festival festival of fifteen days. Fifteen days. So two to Yeah. So yeah, usually, I mean, you can go visiting all your friends and family until the fifteen nah. Oh, the very important thing about Chinese New Year in Singapore is low hay. Oh. I don't <laughs> think other kind Malaysia maybe have, but. It's more like a Southeast Asian thing, or is it a Singapore thing? Well, people, you know, Singapore, Malaysia, they always argue who started it, but it doesn't to me, it's just, you know, Southeast Asian. Yeah, okay. yeah, so, don't Lord, argue, don't Lord. argue, love everyone, be kind to one another. <laughs> so, Lo Hei is uh, for good luck. It's actually mm-hmm. a lot of seven types of vegetables shredded yeah, so each, on a plate. Each different type of uh, vegetable. vegetable or ingredient has a special prosperity meaning yeah. to it. So there is carrots, the key ingredients for lohe, I mean the, the lohe dish. La. So carrots which represents good luck, uh, green radish represents eternal youth. Oh. I see more. <laughs> White radish represent good job opportunities in the few coming year. I think twenty twenty. I don't need good job opportunities. I need more viewership. Same, <laughs> I need, same. We need more sponsorship. Yeah, good job opportunities. <laughs> ah, so okay. must also eat white radish. Okay. okay. So by by the whole by the, chunk. <laughs> by the whole chunk. <laughs> okay. Then we have raw fish. Which symbolize abundance and prosperity. Oh. Pomelo represents luck. Crushed peanuts, it's a sign that your home will be filled with many valuable possessions. Mm. Uh, sesame seeds represent the hope that your business will flourish. So we, need to, we need to eat sesame seeds with <laughs> a spoon. <laughs> go, for, go for black hair also. Oh, okay. So must eat. Uh, okay, then golden cracker symbolizes well, pian di huang jin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, then plum sauce is key component that binds the salad together and it also represents stronger times among family and friends. Mm. Then pepper and cinnamon powder signify wish for wealth. Then the oil which is added last is symbolized that money will come from all directions. Oh. Tai yuan huang jin. Uh. Okay, so these are the things that they say. So when we are eating low hay, right, they will add the ingredients one by one and then every time they add something, they will say something like some uh, good words mm. that, that means something. So they have step one. So they will say, when they put down the platter, right, they will say Gong Si Fa Tai, which means congratulations for your wealth. Okay. <laughs> then. When they add the raw fish, they will say Nian Nian You Yu, which is abundance throughout the year. Then when they add pomelo or lime, they will say Tan Zi Da Li, means good luck and great prosperity. Then when they add the spices, which is the pepper and the cinnamon, is Zhao Cai Jing Bao, may you attract wealth and treasures. Mm. Then step the next step is oil and plum sauce are poured over, then Yi Ben Wan Li, Make ten thousand times of profit with your capital. Wow. <laughs> but if my capital is zero, ten thousand times still is zero. zero. <laughs> so that that must have one dollar lah. Okay. 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 <laughs> then, then then is the peanut crumbs fall over is Jing Ying Man Wu. May your home be filled with gold and silver. Then the second, third last step is sesame seeds. 
uh, Sun Yi Sing Long, wishing you prosperity for business. Then adding the golden crackers is to Man Di Huang Jing, may the floor be filled with gold. And then the last one, then we'll start low hair. So during low hair, we will really say all the good things that like uh, Pu Pu Gao San, that means promotion. Uh, so ma piao, strike for D, strike yeah. lottery, <laughs> all, the all these lottery. things. Uh, like, if I think with kids, then they will have say uh, 学业进步. Mm. It means that they study very well or something. Then what yeah. else do we say during low hair? What no? What right? Yeah, what? One very simple word but very important. Actually, I I think I enjoy the the fun that comes with the, the low hay. low hay because usually it's with your loved ones or your friends, right? Mm. And the fun and also it's a tasty salad, salad dish kind of uh, yeah. yeah. I think I enjoy that. It's because of these two reasons rather than what it really represents. But it's fun. Mm. It's really fun when you yeah. low head. I mean, I, I've been with the rowdiest people who low head. And oh. I've seen the very quiet one, like, very scared, dirty the table because we were doing it in like a meeting room, right? So we're very scared. So we low very gently. Oh. Yeah. So that, what, I think one of the significant is the, the higher you put low the yeah. vegetables, the better it will be. I remember with, with my mom, right? My mom's very cheeky type of person as well. She loves fun. So sometimes she will stand on the chair, then we will try to be like the highest lower <laughs> person. <laughs> I remember one year uh, with my nephew when he's very young, the, the dish actually, some of the ingredients actually fell on our head. <laughs> 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 so it's all over the floor, on our head, on our hands. I but know. it's very fun, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it's quite fun. Yeah. So I think it's I think I can eat like I think I don't mind eating it every day. Because it's a very tasty salad kind of thing. Mm. Uh. It's quite nice uh, because our plum is very nice as well. So mm. yeah, so I think this is something unique about our Chinese New in Singapore. Mm. So you didn't think so much of it. Until you don't have it, right? So after she uh, I remember that time because when I stay uh, in China, it wasn't a very long stay, it's about a month. So by the time I come back, I think it's still around New Year period. I still get to eat low hay that time. Mm. But when I was in Milan, really that year I have None. <laughs> I don't have anything. But okay, uh, then maybe you add salad, you know, the crumb sauce into the salad. <laughs> <laughs> but it's different, what, right? <laughs> no, and I'm the only Singaporean there, so nobody else knows what, what I'm talking about. Is, oh. Yeah. So that year, I remember I don't have low hay, and okay. I'm, I'm missing it so much. <laughs> so this year, how many times you want to low? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe 16 times uh, since two, 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 yeah, New lower. Year Eve onwards then every night. <laughs> <laughs> the time, but one, good, one bad thing about low hair, not bad thing, like, it's like low hair is actually really for a group of people. Yeah, There's you no, can't do it alone. I wish it can be alone. No, no, it's like you can eat every day. Small group, even small group like 2, 3 is a lot. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, but it's like, okay, then maybe uh, for the... First, the, the Chinese New Year Shu Wutian, you eat salad for low hay as salad. <laughs> <laughs> so pathetic. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, the other thing maybe you want to talk about is why the food is upside down. Like, why? Fu Tao. In Chinese, uh, when it's upside down, it's called Tao, means it has reached, arrived. Yeah. So Fu means, Fu means, means uh, prosperity. Prosperity. Anything good, uh, I guess. Yeah. It's sing Fu. Wealth, health. health, everything. Yeah. So, so when it's placed upside down, it's, it means that Fu has reached. This prosperity has reached you. Good luck has reached you. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so good luck has reached therapy on the table. Yay! Maybe I can do some 3D effects. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. what other Chinese traditions? Mm. 
for the past two years, I don't really feel like Chinese New Year tradition. Mm. Uh, so, I don't know, when I'm younger, you mean? Yeah. I enjoy it with my mom. Like, uh, when I'm younger, after usually after reunion dinner, we rest and watch TV together, those Chinese variety oh, oh. show, right? Mm. Uh, then, 2E, 2E usually, first day, second day we eat like leftovers of hot pot. I guess, I guess that's why we like to eat hot pot. It's easier for you to keep the leftovers because it's still uncooked, yeah. right? So the following days you just cook and eat. Mm. Then I remember usually by the third day we will have this uh, lap mei fan. It's actually a kind of clay pot rice but we, we do it home style in a rice cooker so with all the Chinese sausage and uh, cured meat it's very nice so that, that one is also something that every year I will use to have with my mom with my mom that my brother doesn't know because <laughs> he's usually not he's not uh, after uh, New Year Eve after he have uh, the reunion lunch he'll be Somewhere. Gone with the wind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Chinese New Year is significant to me because it's like time for me and my mom really the two of us spend together. Oh first day we always visit my grandma mm. on the first day. Yeah, that's it. How about you? My Chinese yeah, my Chinese Chinese. Typically let's see yeah. Um, so we have dinner, Chinese reunion dinner, which is hot pot. Then uh, we will watch the Chinese variety show. It's pretty similar when we were younger, I guess. Last time we don't have our own TV in the bedroom, <laughs> so all watch in the living room. Yeah. And then last time, no choices of TV channels, so yeah. only one channel. <laughs> so we will watch that and then we will do the countdown together, then get ang bao, then go to sleep. Then, uh, first day, we typically last time we used to visit uh, the family on my father's side. Mm. Then it's the same thing, like you say hi, I mean, you catch up with your cousins and stuff like that. And then your auntie uncle will probably ask you when you're getting married, blah blah blah, and so on. <laughs> mm. Then, uh, then that's, that's about it, and then we'll go home. And then on the second day, I'll visit the grandparents on my mother's side. So, repeat everything again, it's the same thing. So it's pretty quiet for me because we don't like I, I know a lot of friends right or cousins they visit like five six houses in one day. Like like so why? Tiring. <laughs> why? I don't understand. So they really I mean maybe they are really close knitted as a as a family. La, so they really go visit one by one, like five, six different houses at one day. And then at night they go watch movie. Wow. Well, I told me I just one family enough, I go home. I mean, typically we will gather at one person's house. La. So that we... <coughs> then it's easier. La. No need to go individual houses. Like, what's the point, man? You see me here, you see yeah. me there, still there. What? <laughs> I mean, the things are the same. So, yeah, so that's about it. And then I'll, I'll probably start at two houses and that's it. Mm. I mean, mine is very simple. I guess this year I probably will just be staying at home. <laughs> But Maybe on the first day I'll visit my grandma. Uh, this day. year we have three days, right? Holly. Until Monday. Oh, I have a, a Tuesday is off for me as well. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. So first day is Saturday, right? Yeah. So Saturday I'll visit my grandma. Then after <coughs> that, first day is today. I should be visiting my grandma actually. <laughs> Hello, my poor. Yeah. <laughs> so, then after that, I'll just stay at home, catch up with some, catch up on some sleep and maybe Netflix. I don't know. And some spend some quality time with your with Kitty. With Kitty. Who oh, is feeling very. She's very restless. Restless now. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's about all. What we. We talked about a little bit about Chinese tradition and how we spend our Chinese New Year. Maybe 
share with us below how you usually share your uh, spend your Chinese New Year. What is your tradition if it's not if it's different from what we have shared here? Yeah, we would like to hear your comments. Thank you.